When are employers planning to return to the office in Charlotte? So in June, the Charlotte Regional Business Alliance released the findings from their return to office survey, where they surveyed a majority of the major employers in Charlotte to understand what their plans were. And there's a lot of great information in this survey pertaining to long-term remote work plans and what employers are looking to do in the future. But for our purposes today, I want to focus on one specific part of this, which is what is that expected date that 50% of all employees will be back in the office? And so you can see in June, a majority of the respondents had actually already returned to 50% or more back in person. However, the next most popular date for return to office activities was September. And as we are here in August, we're approaching that date rapidly. What, what are those key indicators that people are considering when considering whether or not to bring their employees back to office? So you can see right up here that the top two are the change in government guidelines and the number of new cases and, and hospitalizations and deaths from COVID-19 in the region. And so given, given the rise of the, the Delta variant, I just want to go through a couple of updates and where we are with that. We've seen a, a couple of employers have already pushed back from September to October, we may see that be pushed back further. We've seen a couple of employers stating that they're going to require even their vaccinated staff staff members to wear masks given the new change in CDC guidance. And again, the state following that recommendation as well. So the first thing I really wanted to focus on is given that we've seen over a third of all COVID cases recently coming from the state of Florida and Texas, I really wanted to zoom into those states' trends to see how their COVID growth is tracking with, with North Carolina. Again, the, the whole concept of exponential growth can be kind of a difficult thing to understand, so I think these trend lines help us understand where we might be heading in the future. And so here what you can see is on the screen in, in July of 2021, Florida had about a seven-day average of around 1,700 cases. And then here as we sit today, they're at about 17,000. So you're talking about a, a tenfold growth over the course of that month. And a very similar case again in Texas. If you go back to July 1, you're sitting at around 1,500 and, and a little bit less, but around 11,000 cases today. And that trend line actually still holds when you look at North Carolina. It's just we had a much lower overall overall rate of infection. So you can see on July 1, we had a seven day average of around 300 cases. And where we sit today, we were sitting around 3000. So again, you're seeing that same growth rate, but in terms of absolute numbers, we're well below those, those other states that are some of the leading states of COVID infections. However, it is something to keep an eye on. I think that's why we're seeing a lot of employers focus on masking, focus on vaccination, and, and the focus on the new state guidance, because absent this other intervention, we would continue to see that trend line picking up. And so given all of this information, again, what, we're, what we are saying and what we're hearing is that some employers are starting to push back their, their plans to return in September, and we would expect to hear more employers focusing on vaccine and masking or delaying that return to office plan. And so that's all we have for you today, but I hope you found this update on the return to office plans helpful. And please check out our YouTube channel for more videos.